And now let's take a look at the trigger points and muscles involved with headache pain. Again, we have the trapezius trigger points. This one is the anterior trapezius, which refers pain up the side of the neck and around the ear to the temple in a question mark pattern. And next we have in green, the sternocleidomastoid trigger points, which can refer pain behind the ear, inside the ear, to the top of the head, across the forehead, and in and around the eye. And in blue, we have the suboccipital trigger points, which refer pain into the temple region and deep in the eye. Clinical findings for the trapezius trigger points. It is extremely rare that I see a client with no active trigger points in the trapezius muscle, no matter what their chief complaint might be at the time of their first visit. Having said this, let's take a look at the associated symptoms for trapezius trigger points. Clients will present with pain on the back and side of the neck, top of the shoulder, between the shoulder blades, back of the head, pain behind the ear, at the angle of the jaw, and in the temple regions. Occasionally, clients may present with a quiver-like sensation in their upper arm. Activating or perpetuating factors for trapezius trigger points include automobile accidents, any activity that requires the muscle to carry the weight of the arm for an extended period of time, forward head rounded shoulder posture, postural asymmetry due to scoliosis or due to lower limb length inequality, a heavy backpack or a heavy shoulder bag, emotional distress or anxiety, long telephone conversations, sleeping on their stomach with their head turned to one side, playing the violin, armrests that are too high, holding the arm up and forward for a long period of time, and prolonged bending and reaching forward while sitting. Associated symptoms for the sternocleidomastoid trigger points. Clients may complain of pain in the back of the head, ear, forehead, top of the head, and the eye socket regions. Although this muscle is located in the neck, there is typically no neck pain and no neck stiffness associated with SCM trigger points. Clients will also complain of dizziness, vertigo, fainting following sudden movements of the head, sweating on one side of the forehead, redness or tearing of an eye, blurred, dimmed, or double vision, seasickness or car sickness, nausea, scratchy throat, and dry cough. Some factors that may activate or perpetuate trigger points in the sternocleidomastoid muscle include forward head posture, prolonged sitting with the head turned, using two pillows under the head while sleeping, looking up for a long period of time, automobile accidents such as whiplash injuries, scoliosis, lower limb length inequality or limping, chronic cough, tight shirt collar or a tight necktie, dehydration associated with hangovers, and sinusitis, dental abscess, or herpes simplex oral. Clinical findings for the suboccipital muscle group. Clients may complain of pain in the temple, side of the head, and behind the ear regions. They may also complain of diffuse pain that seems to penetrate deep inside the skull, and trigger point induced tension in these muscles can cause restriction in head rotation. Some factors that may activate or perpetuate trigger points in the suboccipital muscle group include prolonged looking upward or to the side, forward head posture, 
use of bifocal glasses, automobile accidents, and chilling of the muscle.